Now, in our second leading story, we head to the Democratic Republic of Congo, to the town of Ituri, where Doctors Without Borders announced the temporary evacuation of its staff from the Biakato region following a third attack on a health center. A group armed with sticks and machetes stormed the area, but fortunately did not reach the Ebola treatment center, and no injuries have been reported. The government's limited presence in the DRC's eastern provinces, including North Kivu, as well as the presence of numerous armed groups and local self-defense militia have led to continued insecurity in the region. This has presented a major obstacle in the fight against Ebola in one of the most affected regions in the country, Ruth. Let's now head to Beni, the DRC, where Africa News correspondent Gael Poyo is on standby to throw more light on the subject. Bonjour, Ruth. Je veux bien ce matin. Thank you. Can we see that this latest attack on the Biakoto Health Center in Ituri is the last straw that broke the camel's back and pushed Doctors Without Borders to temporarily suspend its activities? Doctors Without Borders has temporarily suspended its activities to ensure the safety of its agents in this part of the DRC after one of its centers was threatened in Biakato by yet to be identified men. No deaths or injuries were recorded, but according to some discrete sources of the organization, Doctors Without Borders used the opportunity to dispatch its staff before a return to normalcy. Note that on December 4th, 2019, they decided to temporarily evacuate its staff from the Biakato region of Ituri province in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And after many months of working with communities to address health needs in the region, the organization says it is saddened by this decision. Early in the morning of Tuesday, December 3rd, a group of people armed with sticks and machetes broke into the Biakato Health center. They did not reach the Ebola treatment center inside the compound and no one was reported injured. On the same night, another group of people armed with sticks and machetes attempted to enter the Doctors Without Borders base in Biakato Mines. Stones were thrown at the base for a while, but no one was hurt. These events followed a deadly attack on people working in the Ebola Response Center on the night of Wednesday 27th and Thursday 28th November. Following this attack, Doctors Without Borders remained in the region to provide medical care in these health centers, as well as in the Ebola treatment centers in Biakato Mines, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health. These were very difficult days for everyone, as the majority of people working in the Ebola Response Center and other humanitarian organizations had evacuated the region, making available health care extremely limited for the local population. So, Doctors Without Borders has decided to temporarily evacuate all its staff from the area. Now, Gael, it can only be expected that the suspension will have a negative impact on the health conditions uh, in this region, given the role that Doctors Without Borders has played. Can you tell us more? Well, I am sure that this must have a negative impact given the major role played by the organization in this part of the country, which is experiencing various kinds of unrest. According to Belanger Guais, Doctors Without Borders Emergency Coordinator in Beni, they are at a very crucial moment in the epidemic. And the number of patients treated by the treatment center has decreased significantly, but new cases have been identified from different transmission chains. However, she said they must continue to work with the community to build trust and ensure that everyone with Ebola symptoms is properly isolated and screened. For now, we cannot lower our guard until the epidemic is officially over, she insisted. Well, Gael, with the departure of the Doctors Without Borders, who are Congolese authorities expecting, especially since the Ebola epidemic has not yet been brought under control in the region? 
Jusque-là, aucune réaction de la part des autorités congolaises. So far, there's been no reaction from Congolese authorities. No decision has been taken and there are no palliative measures, except Professor Mouyembe's message condemning the attacks on response centers in very strong terms. In general, Doctors Without Borders has been providing health care in the Biakato region since 2016. During the Ebola outbreak, they worked closely with uh, the Biakata community to identify and respond to health priorities related or not related to the Ebola virus. In particular, the organization has rehabilitated wells and built a pediatric ward. In support of the Ministry of Health, Doctors Without Borders also provided primary health care and pediatric hospital care. And in November 2019, again with the Ministry of Health, they built and managed Ebola treatment centers. Thank you so much, Gaia for answering to our questions. Merci à Ruth, à vous, et très bon travail. Merci à vous et très Thank you again. Gaël Poyo is African News correspondent speaking to us from Beni in the DRC. Absolutely. A very big thank you indeed there to our correspondent. You're still watching The Morning Call here on African News. Remember, you can get these and many more stories from across the continent here on African News TV, as well as on our website, africanews.com. Now, still to come in the program. Kenya's coffee farmers are grubbing up their bushes to plant other crops as low prices and climate change are driving small growers to the brink of collapse. Global coffee prices plunged to 2005 lows of 86 cents per pound this year, far below the cost of production. Plus in more business. The French technology group GFE has acquired the Cameroonian startup Brigio, extending its offerings to software and programming. The acquisition of Brigio confirms GFE's desire to expand on the African market with regional hubs in Morocco, Tunisia, Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire and now Cameroon. And we continue on this business note when Amelia Martha Nachitimbo joins us on the platform after this short break.